and welcome to WOW. This is Worship on Wednesday with Marsha Henderson. And today, am I excited? Yes, I am. Why are you excited, Marsha? Because today is the best day of my life. And why? Because Jesus, again, he lives on the inside of me. But you know what? I want to talk to you for a moment, just for a second. Can we talk about feeling out of place? Can we talk about feeling like you're different? Maybe even that you don't even belong to a particular group. And that's okay. Huh. It's not easy all the time, but it's okay. I want you to read this scripture with me. Get your Bibles or get your pen and paper so you can write it down later. But it's 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse number 2. And it says, there is none holy as the Lord, for there is none beside thee, neither is there any rock like our God. Man, that means there's nobody else like God. There's nobody that can compare to him. He's totally different. He's totally unique. As a matter of fact, I want to point out that word holy. There is none holy as our God. What that means is he's so holy, he's so unique, he's separate. He can't be compared with anybody else. He does not get along with sin. He does not get along with the things of the world. Why? Because he's holy. He's like his own self. And yes, we were created in his image. That means we can follow in a lot of the characteristics of God. Like we can operate in his love and his mercy, his joy. We can have that same peace. But there are some things that only only attribute itself to God. For example, God is omnipresent, he's omnipotent, and he's holy. That means he's set apart, he's separate. He doesn't have to be like the Joneses, if you will. He doesn't have to be like the Smiths, if you will. He doesn't have to be like anybody else. He is his own being, his own, his own self. So why shouldn't you be your own self? Who cares if you can't sing like Sister Sally? Or who cares if you don't have a lot of money like uh, Brother Joe? It doesn't matter about any of that. Quit trying to compare yourself with everybody else. If you don't belong to a certain part of a group or or you don't fit in with a certain clique, it's okay. What? God made you who you are. Start being who he created you to be. Just like God is holy, just like God is separate, just like he is set apart, you too can be set apart. You don't have to be like everybody else. Just be who God has called you to be. Anybody ready for worship today? Come on, let's go. Thank you.
that you were blessed by that and remember that God is holy. There is none other like him. No one can compare to him. And guess what? Just like the Bible says, he's not going to change because he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. So once you get in a line with the word of God, with what God has already called you to be, you don't have to change for anybody. You just continue to walk in the footsteps that God has called you to do and watch him surround you with the blessings that he has already predestined for your life. All right? I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. God loves you. Today is Wednesday, so please have a blessed Wednesday, and we will do this again next week. Bye.